Hello subscribers, this is Novin Reddy from Tadisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about vectors. So what is vector? So a vector is a type of list. So vector implements list and it is almost same as other list. So if you people are familiar with other list, you know then you also know vectors then. It's just the name, right? So what is vector? So if I go to the implementation of vector, so uh, basically vector is a dynamic array in which you can increase the size of a vector okay you can increase the size of the array now in case of so you'll also say we have list we have array list we have a collection framework right so we can do the same stuff with collection framework so one of the thing is let's say if I start with vector so let's say we have vector v equal to new vector now the advantage is this vector is so if, let me import the package control shift o so this vector is a dynamic array which means we can add the elements so we can add elements dynamically and you can it will increase the size automatically so let's say if i add v dot uh, v dot add 4 so it has a value which is 4 now if i add one more value let's say 6 so let's say we have two values and i can also print the so in this v we have a method which is capacity which will print the current capacity if i run this code so you can see the default capacity for uh, this is not uh, this is not because of the addition let's change the values and you can see this is not the addition of two, those two numbers okay uh, so we are adding these two values 4 and 7 and the capacity is, it is printing is 10 right so by default the array capacity is 10 but what if you add the value so if I add some values here let's say 6 and let's add some let's let me add the same values again and again so let me copy it and we'll paste it here so I don't know how many added. So this is four and this is six. So you can see we have the current capacity as 10 and have added 10 values. As soon as I run this, we got uh, 10. Let's run this again. And you can see it is 20 now, right? So because if you, if you exceed the size, it will make the capacity 20. So that means vector increases, increases size by 100%. So initial size was 10, so now it is 20. And if I add, uh, 20 values so let me just copy this and paste and if I run this thing so you can see the capacity is 40 so this is the case with vectors right so it it increases the capacity as per the user requirements so as soon as you exceed the current limit it will go to the double of its value I mean it is it will increase the capacity by 100% okay so uh, let me just print out all those values let me change some values here let me make it 7 let me or why 7 let me make it 9 and we'll make it 2, we'll make it 61, we'll make it 65. So we have these values. How to print this? Printing is uh, very simple as we have done in the array. We can use enhanced for loop here. So we can use uh, int i in v. Okay. Is it? Uh, okay. So now it gives a problem. It says we cannot convert directly. So instead of int will we'll take object because we have we are not using generics here right we can also apply generics here right so but let's okay let's apply generics how to apply generics we can simply say we have all the values as integers right so we can mention integer here and now instead of object we can say int we can uh, so these all values are int values now so we can print those values we can say print i for me but before printing the value, let me print the capacity here, right? And if I run this code, so you can see we are printing all the values. So that's the capacity and then we, can, we are printing all the values, right? So this is how vector works. You can add elements, you can, uh, even you can remove elements. So we can say v dot remove and we can remove the second element. We can remove this seven here. And if I say index number one, so it will remove seven. By the way, I will, let, let me take the, uh, so let, if you see the output, there's no change in the sequence, right? So we have added four first, so it is four, then seven. Now if I run this by removing the first element, you can see seven is not there now, right? So we can also remove elements, we can add elements, we can do all those stuff. So this, this is how vector works. So this is a dynamic array, so we can call it as dynamic array, right? And if I go to vector, so vector is the implementation of list interface, which itself uh, so you can see vector came in JDK 1.0 and list came in 1.2 and that's the that's the trick here. So vector is there from a long time. So when the, when the first time 
Java was introduced, it came with vector and later vector was modified to work with list, right? So even before collection framework, so you can do the same stuff with collection framework, right? So instead of using collection framework, uh, we can also use vectors. But collection framework was introduced in 1.2 and vector is there from 1.0. Then question arises: when to use vector and when to use array list because both both this will do the same thing, right? So, uh, so now we'll talk about the difference between array list and vectors because array list is an implementation of list and even vector is the implementation of list. So which is better? Let's have a look. So let me just comment this section of vector, the whole section here. Okay, that's not this one. Let's comment till this point. Okay. And now let's create an array list. So let me create an array list. Okay, but of integers. And we'll name this as v as well. So we'll say this is add a list. Oh, that's not add a list. So this is add a list, right? And we'll give a semicolon there. Package is already imported. Now, before uh, adding any elements, you cannot see, we can see if it's not specifying the, so there's no method called as capacity here. Is that the case? So method capacity is undefined for a list. So we cannot use this method capacity. Let's see something else. So if I say dot, so we have a method which is size, right? And if I run this code, you can say size is zero. And do we have any other method to get the capacity here? Uh, okay, let's try, let's get some method to check the capacity. So we don't have any method to get the capacity here, is it the case? Okay, so we don't have any method to get the capacity here. So the thing is, whenever you work with array, whenever you work with vectors, so vector, if if you exceed the limit, it will increase the capacity by 100%. But that is not the case with array list. It will increase the capacity by 50%. Okay, so this will help you to manage the memory, right? So vector wastes lots of memories and array list will save the memory. Second difference, this vector is... So if you go to vector, it is a synchronized, so it is synchronized by default. So you can see we have every method in vector, they are synchronized. That means it's a thread safe, right? So theoretically it is thread safe, not practically. So we can also, uh, it also get affected by threads. So it says it is thread safe, but not practically. So theoretically vectors are thread safe and arrays are not thread safe. Okay, so we have the first difference vector it is it takes it increases the capacity by 100 percent array list will increase the capacity by 50 50 percent and vector is thread safe array list is not okay those are the two difference the third difference since it is uh, thread safe it is slow and since it is not thread safe it is fast okay so in all in all array list wins the argument here so if you compare between these two array list and vectors array list is the winner Okay, then how, when to use vectors? When it is specifically mentioned that you need to work with vectors, then only work with vectors. Otherwise, always prefer add list because it is, it is much superior than vectors, you know. I don't know why people teach vectors in the colleges or why it is compulsory to use vectors, you know, when we can use add list. I think because of the outdated uh, syllabus we have. So, yeah, we can, you should know about vectors, but you should, you should not use vectors in the project. Always use at least okay so that's it from this video so now at least wins and that is the introduction for vectors so thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for for the videos